that week. One of my classmates is having their birthday party, and I don't think I got invited. How do you know? Well, every day I get home from school and run to the mailbox. I say hi to Miss McLoon, our mail carrier, and I say, anything for me? Like, I don't know, an invitation? And she says, sorry, Callie, not today. I think I know I am not invited. It's a Lego-themed party, and I'm not really into Legos. I mean, they're okay, but I'm more of a big building block kind of girl. With Legos, you can build cool, small things, but I like my creations to be life-sized. I like to build castles, forts, and space stations. Still working on the space station. Have to get my building blocks to blast off into outer space first. Anyway... <sighs> I feel so sad about not being invited to the party that I could build myself a cave to live in. I know Legos aren't my favorite, but I still wish I was included. Being included means being a part of something. If there's one thing I love being a part of, it's parties. Any kind of party. <sighs> Have you ever felt like you just weren't a part of something that you wish you could be? It can feel pretty lonely and make you sad. Maybe our Bible story will cheer me up. It's time for today's Bible story. It comes from the book of Acts, chapter 11. Peter was one of the people who had been closest to Jesus. After Jesus went to heaven, Peter went around telling people about Jesus. But some of Peter's friends felt like only some people should hear the good news. They wanted it to be a secret club only for people who were just like them. But God showed Peter that this was not okay. Then Peter told his friends the whole story. One day, Peter was praying and he saw something. It was like a dream. In it, he saw animals that he had never been allowed to eat before because they were considered to be dirty. That's what he had been taught ever since he was very young. But God said the rules were changing and these animals were clean. He said that Peter could eat them. Peter couldn't do it. How could he break the rules? But God told Peter three times to eat the food because what God was saying now was more important than the rules he was used to. After this, three men came looking for Peter. God had sent them. God told Peter to go with them, so he did. The three men took Peter to the house of someone named Cornelius. You see, while God was showing Peter this vision of the animals, an angel of God visited Cornelius and told him to find Peter and bring him to his house. Cornelius and his family were the kind of people who Peter's friends didn't want in their club. But when Peter heard what Cornelius said, he understood what God was trying to tell him. God wanted everyone to hear the good news of Jesus. Anybody who believed in Jesus could be saved and be a part of God's family because God can deliver everyone. Peter shared the good news of Jesus with them and they accepted it and were thankful. Peter's story taught him and his friends a very important lesson. The lesson was God can deliver everyone. hadn't gotten that message from God, we may have never been able to hear about Jesus either. Isn't that crazy? You might have noticed that I'm not sad anymore. Well, during our Bible story, Miss McLean came and she said, Callie, there's a letter for you. It looks like an invitation. And it was! I am invited to the party! She even wrote a special note on the invitation. She says that she knows I'm not a big Lego fan, so I should bring my building blocks. Can you imagine? Big building block castles with a bunch of Lego castles inside. Doesn't that sound amazing? Maybe we can all figure out together how to make our Legos and building blocks blast off into space. And we can build space shuttles together. Anyway, it feels so good to be included. No one should be left out, right? I'm probably feeling a lot like the people in that house where Peter shared the good news of Jesus. It's like the best party ever, and everyone is invited because God can deliver everyone.
Remember that, friends. Thanks for learning and growing with me.